break than to talk about all the action. Let's jump over to our man, Teddy Kegstad. Folks, you can check out Teddy's outstanding Tiger Forex report. He puts out weekly updates at the beginning of every week on Mondays, updates throughout the week when warranted. You can check that out right under the newsletter tab at TFNN. It's $97 for the month. It comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. And what's going on right now with currencies, what's going on right now with yields in terms of how they're impacting everything. And don't forget, he's got a couple great webinars under the services tab under there as well. Japanese candlestick pattern, stock and option strategies. And then you got capitalizing on time with calendar stock option spreads. Check those out. Check out the Tiger Forex report and let's get into it. Teddy Kegstat, good morning. Good morning, Tommy. Yeah, what a morning to talk about the markets today. So Oof. where do you want to begin? Uh, what, what do you think, I guess, of the market reaction to some of the economic data, right? We got retail sales. I mean, we got the whole theme going on, it seems here, Teddy, in terms of mm -hmm. a little bit of a reverberation, right? Yields climbing again. We got dollar strength back in vogue. Um, where do you want to kick things off? It goes right back to what I've been saying for a long time. You got to watch the bond numbers because if they make something move, they're going to make the markets move. And that's what's going on right now. You know, so, I mean, everyone in the Tiger Forex report, we know Monday was a holiday. So they were asleep. There was no markets really open in the U.S. Everything was closed. Only the FX markets were open, but they were quiet. You know, that was expected. And then yesterday, the markets opened. And the main thing that I had talked about in the, report, in the, for, the Tiger report was that, uh, you know, you're probably going to have a big choppy sideways market continuing unless unless the, the numbers start to come out in a way that disappoints or comes out out of whack you know retail is, um, sales came out much higher than expected you know the forecast was higher than the previous number but only slightly and this really beat the number so and that's a big thing once again which goes back to what I've been the tone I've had over the past few months is that everyone's getting ahead of themselves. You know, I heard on the radio last week that there was a 60% priced in chance of a quarter uh, point rate cut in the May uh, meeting. Well, is that still on the table today? You know, once again, you got the numbers are lagging and this is not that far of a lagging number, you know. So I think that it's showing the, the, the shakeup and now we've gotten some breakouts too. We had some currencies that are moving, some that aren't. And I think a lot of it is reflective of the yield move that we've had. And yields haven't really moved that much. They moved today, you know, but the other markets already started to break out yesterday, like the dollar already. So I think we hit, we've hit. we started a nice little um, short-term move. I would not jump in front of the trends right now, short-term. I think you got to let them go a little bit more, and I can get into those numbers if you want. Uh, I can break it down from the dollar index all the way through all the currencies if you want to do that. Let's do next. it. I like, those, I like the exact numbers. Let's break out the numbers for the okay. people listening for sure. All right, start with the dollar index. Yesterday nice. we had we had an upside breakout level at 10310. Uh, right now we're trading at 10360, so we took out that breakout level. So for that that signal was already taken out yesterday. That's good. Now we're following through today. I also have um, one of my I have a indicator that I use. I don't use it for a tiger report, but I use it in combination with things. So with the breakout that triggered my signal followed up by an entry long signal for the dollar index that was triggered today. So um, I think you can see the dollar index get up to around that 104.30, maybe even push 104.75 over the next, like, I would say, three to five sessions. Um, could we have a nice sell-off and profit-taking um, move tomorrow? Absolutely, because we have the next number is on Friday for um, the U.S. You know, remember, I was looking for a sideways market, most like for most of this week. You know, so I wouldn't get overzealous, but I think that what's going on in these little short-term bursts is going to give you the nice trend to follow through over, like I said, the next week. So that's a dollar index. So now let's go to crude, okay? So crude is something nice. I know you guys want to take a look at. Oh, yeah. Now, this is another one that I was talking about going kind of sideways it's on the lower band right now or what it's 7116 a barrel i think in the uh, front month contract so yeah. that's kind of still sideways as long as that stays stable and i think that pretty much will over the next like week or so i wouldn't expect a big breakout if we get above 76 then i think you can start to worry about having a nice bull move but i think like i said for the past couple of weeks between 70 and 75 you're going to be in a chop zone and i think it's going to continue there but now let's go to the um interest rates so okay. with the uh, 30 year and there's also the 10 year, both of them were going kind of sideways. Yesterday's market had a nice sell off, um, meaning prices going lower, meaning yields going up. Today, we have a nice little bit of follow through. Now, this is the key thing. Like, that's why I'm saying don't get overzealous on these moves. In the past day and a half, we've had a nice move after a holiday um, break. Okay, we could be pushing these moves today, but don't 
think that we're not going to get a profit-taking bounce. So I think right now, as far as yields, I'd be in a sell rally forecast, looking for lower move lows, which will help to give the dollar a continued boost, which would help, like I said, help the Dixie get up for about that 104 area, somewhere around there. So I'm looking for that to continue with that. So, And then we also had a sell signal triggered in that other uh, signal that I use also today. Now let's go to the Euro US dollar. I'm going to go as fast as I can. That one, great. yesterday we took out, which, I'm sorry? I said, this is great. Let's keep it going. Oh, okay. Let's yep. okay. So yesterday in the euro, now we had a nice sell-off. We took out our downside breakout level. Okay. So now here's the thing that I want to tell you about the euro. This is this is a big deal. We're trading right around the directional pivot level of around this 108 area. Okay. 108 to 108 half is a big deal. Okay. If we start to trade below that, well, then we could see the euro break another two to three dollars over the next, I would say, week and a half to two weeks. You know, okay. so to the short side, there could be a nice trade there, especially if yields do start to tick up again. Like if the if the bonds and the ten year follow through, okay, over the next few sessions, especially if we get a bad number on Friday for um the uh, the, uh which will affect the real estate market, that could be a big bond number too, and also the, and the ten year as well. So if that happens and they start to hit the hammer to low and yields go up, that's going to keep pressing that sell signal. Okay, So for that, I think you could get that down another couple handles in the bonds. And if that happens, that will help the Dixie get up to that 104 area. Okay, So now let's go down to the British pound. This is the one that's staying kind of a sleeper today. Yesterday, it did sell off like the rest of the currencies as the dollar got its boost. But today, it's hang it's just hanging around this. But right now, it's where is it at? So 126.39. It's got to get below 126.15. 125.95 area somewhere in that support band because if it holds above there it it's, means it's really it's it's in this sideways trade that it's it's pro it could dwell for a while remember we're white waiting on the bank of england right now so everyone's talking about the fed but our eye is also watching the boe and that may keep that currency snaking along so be careful looking for a big break on that one. I, if the euro sells off big, then you may get a little follow through with the pound. But that one I don't think is going to break as hard relatively to as far as the dollar cross relationship, just for those that watch that market. All right, US dollar Swiss, this is a whole nother ball of wax. We're seeing some strength here. Now this is one where overall the trend is a bear. I would use caution with this one. I think you're having an exacerbated rally, profit taking move on this one. So could it get to a much higher level? Well, of course it could. Um, but 186, right where it's at right now, is the directional pivot level I have, which is a huge trend level for the Swiss. So I think that this, the other markets have to catch up for, to this one more so than, than where it's at, if that makes any sense. If the rally is going to continue with the dollar, the Swiss is probably going to lay off over the next couple sessions. The other currencies have to catch up. Okay, because now as we get into the other ones, you know, like we got to take a quick break. Can we come back, Teddy? All right. I can wrap up the last four in two minutes. Let's we'll finish it. it up, folks. Don't go away. We'll be right back with Teddy. Welcome back, folks. We got the S&Ps off about 36 points, just kind of chopping around at the 4762 area since we opened the trading at 930. We're talking to our man Teddy Kegstad. Don't forget about the Tiger Forex report, folks. And let's just jump back into it, Teddy. Um, please continue to go ahead as we wrap it up in the next couple of minutes. Where were we? Okay. Cool. U.S. dollar yen is where we're at right now. So nice. um, in the report, I said last week's swing high was a big level. Um, we figured we'd be uh, Te testing resistance a little bit more. The number obviously accelerated things. We are above our upside correction zone, which was topped out at 147.50. We're at 148.32 right now. We're on our way to 150, baby. Now, is it going to happen today or tomorrow? Probably not. But if Friday's number goes in line with what today's momentum is, if that kind of reinforces the direction of interest rates and helps push yields higher, I could see 150 hit by Friday afternoon, um, definitely by Monday, if those numbers fall in line with that one. So right now we have that bullish breakout. The, the, the yen and these last couple of currencies, these are the ones that are really driving the dollar index right now because they're the movers. So Australian dollar, US dollar, talk about a slam a jam -a yesterday. We felt the floor just got ripped out. We were looking for sideways in these markets. Obviously, things are not happening. We got the downside breakout. We're already trading now. Let's see, in the Aussie, it's trading at, what is it, 65.28. 
that's just hovering above the bottom of the critical correction zone for what we had in the Tiger Forex report. You can see on a daily basis, it's right there by a, mo a major swing low from a couple months ago. When we take that out over the next couple sessions, you could, <laughs> I mean, we might see the, the market get down another like three or four handles on, by Friday. Now, I, this is an exacerbated yeah. move, so be careful with that. We might get a bounce. So real nice. quick, I think I can get the NZD in the Canada. Um, I love New it. Zealand, New Zealand dollar, it's the same difference as the Canada. They broke out downside. Okay. Right now it's trading at 60.91. I got 60 even as a huge support base. It gets below, gets okay. below there. You could see another couple handles without a doubt. Um, and then U.S. dollar Canada, here's another one that's breaking out to the upside um, the past couple of sessions. I, this Ooh. is another one where I think it's exacerbated. I'd be careful tomorrow, but look for follow through Friday, baby. Have Man, fun. Teddy. That was awesome. That was some great info, folks. Do you hear all that actionable info? Go check out that Tiger Forex report. It comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, 97 bucks. Teddy Kegs at. Thanks so much, man. We'll talk to you next week. Take care. Take care. Folks, stay tuned. Basil's up next. Have a great